guys, so we are Halloween decor hunting. We're checking TJ Maxx and we're checking Kohl's once again because I've got to drop off some Amazon returns. So we're gonna see if Kohl's has anything new. I, I don't think I have the Kohl's video out yet, so I'm just probably gonna shove this footage into the, maybe I do, God, I don't remember. I am so like, inundated with Halloween footage. It's crazy and I'm really trying to get the videos out like super fast for you guys so you can see what's out in the stores so i'm really trying to edit as quickly as i can with like my reviews on some of the items that i'm seeing because i feel like that's important too it's nice to see like somebody's video of what's in their store but i feel like i need to talk about what i'm seeing in the store because i'm physically there looking at it touching it blah 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 so we're gonna go see what Kohl's has and then um tj maxx i have to run two tractor supply to and get dog food so we're doing a little errands and we're gonna sprinkle in a little halloween decor hunting as well What? Okay, so Kohl's had some Halloween out. I feel like the lady was unpacking more stuff. Oh my God, what is this lighting? It's even worse. So yeah, I think she was unpacking more stuff. I don't really have time to wait around for her to unpack all of it. But I think I saw some pillows there, maybe. So, like the uh, Squishmallow kind of pillows, I feel like I saw those. So we are going to run to TJ Maxx super quick and then uh, I gotta go get dog food <gasps> and then stuff for dinner. This is the busiest I've seen this Kohl's. Like there's so many cars in this parking lot right now, I think because a lot of people are doing back to school shopping. There's so many people in that store. It's crazy. <laughs> okay, we're outside TJ Maxx. This store is probably a bad move on my part right now. It's a Sunday, it looks crazy busy but uh it's just a story you gotta check all the time just to see what they got because they're always putting new stuff out so i was i mean ross is another one but like the mall is not um uh, that's not happening that's not happening it is packed the parking lot is packed full to the brim i can't i can't do the mall right now so, TJ Maxx is what we're gonna check.
So let's talk about some of the stuff that we saw as far as Halloween. So Kohl's had a few more items out. Like I said, they have super cute bath mats, super the accent rugs. I don't know. Looks like a bath mat to me. Kind of has the rubber stuff underneath it. So I'm going to call it a bath mat. Pretty cute. Um, $40. So we're not there yet with the price, but those are definitely an option later on huh? because not that many people are going to be buying those bath mats really at least not in my area so i feel like Kohl's has like a halloween hoedown line too now the cowboy skeletons and the cowboy boots that are kind of like mystical. That ghost pillow is super cute. I really want to get one of those fleecy ghost pillows, but the white is just going to get destroyed. It's just gonna get destroyed here. So I can't, I can't do one of those. It's too bad, but that's life when you have pets. You have to be realistic about what you can have as decor when you have big ass dogs that like to rip up stuffed animals. And that's all we really saw from Kohl's. No shirts yet. And like I said, they were putting stuff out. So I'm sure they put more stuff out, but I just couldn't stay. I feel like TJ Maxx is gonna be the store this year for at least this area. And of course, Spirit Halloween, but that's more Halloween decor and horror decor. Whereas their like home decor, I feel like isn't like what I'm looking for for her actual home decor, like everyday home decor. I think it's gonna be TJ Maxx this year, which it, it's been TJ Maxx for a couple years mainly, like purchases from TJ Maxx and then like Michaels, but it's it's mostly teenage, teenage. it's mostly TJ Maxx. Now TJ Maxx stuff can still be a little janky it's cheap for the price. Oh, and Ross. I forgot about Ross because I haven't been to Ross in a little bit because it's near the mall and that is always chaotic. TJ Maxx has two like dedicated Halloween sections in their store now. We saw a lot of the mummies that people want, the ones that are like this. <laughs> we saw a lot of those. I had a whole bunch of those, which I didn't see last year at all. The skull diffuser was really cool. I really liked that, but I just don't have a place to put it. And I'm trying to cut down on the like skull decor that I have. Like I don't really want to purchase any more skulls. Unless like they're real, like unless the real they're real ones or they're like really super detailed. 
but I'm not really looking for like the Halloween-y skulls now. And even though that was a cool diffuser, I don't know. I just don't think I need a diffuser. I use the wax warmer, so. But it is a cool item that it lights up and stuff like that. That might have been part of the problem for me. I don't know. I just passed on it. But that's still a really cool item for like everyday decor, spooky people. That's not like straight up Halloween. So they had a lot more ghosts with the mummies. The pumpkin house was super cute. I love that. That would be like a Halloween decoration for me just for like Halloween and not all year round. So they had the metal bats for your wall this year. They had a bunch of them this year. I only saw one set last year, which is cool. It's cool that they're metal. I don't know if that's an everyday like leave up item for me or not. And I know I'm saying this with like a plastic skeleton behind me, but that isn't gonna stay there. It's just there because I'm waiting to, to pull the Halloween stuff out. And when I put the Halloween stuff away, it's gonna go in the tubs. It's just really hot to pull down the attic right now. So I just hung it up there. So it's out of the way, but that's not staying there. I'm trying to be a lot more selective with my purchases. So they're not like Halloween-y. They are just like, spooky vibes, not goofy vibes. I feel like I say that every year and I'm getting pretty good at sticking with that. Although, like I said, when I went through my Halloween decor, I figured out that I didn't have that much Halloween decor. So my TJ Maxx has a dedicated spooky pillow blanket section now where they had them all mashed together before and they have a lot of blankets more than last year I feel like so the the really like thick blankets that a lot of people are grabbing up that's like the occult symbol one and one of the skull ones and the snake one like they're nice but I don't like that one side is white and one side is black like I wished the whole blanket was just black because the white isn't gonna work I think one side is just gonna end up looking like really like dirty and I think I didn't look at this one but I bet these are like spot clean only blankets the really thick like woolly ones which is not gonna work for a white blanket it's gonna get to the point that like the white is not gonna be white anymore and it is an off-white, but the thing is, it's still a lighter color than the other side. I guess you could just leave it on the black side. I don't know, it's a $19 blanket. If you have to spot clean that, that's gonna suck. And it looks like they put out a lot more mugs. The purple snake mug is probably the best looking mug for me even though I'm not a pastel person. I just like the snake decor that they're coming out with this year. I feel like that's different. It's not skeletons or spiders or ghosts. It's snakes and snakes are just naturally creepy. I'm a snake. I'm a snake. So I liked that mug. Uh, they had a couple other mugs that were like pretty cute, like the Creep It Real mug. I like that. It's simple, but you know, it's, it works. But I only use one mug, so like ever. So I didn't really buy any mugs. And I think that a snake one, I don't know how that purple is gonna go like down the line. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if it's gonna start looking like grungy and that's the other I, I just don't think light like pastel colors have the staying power of years and years of use that black has even white gets like dingy looking after you've had it for a while even if you take really good care of it so that's just something that I would be worried about with those but if that's your aesthetic then go for it they're only like $4.99, so like five bucks. What do you really have to lose if that's the mug that you want? You know what I mean? And then they have candles. 
So they're kind of doing like a cutesy candle thing, D DW, which I got a lot of my spooky label candles. The other thing that DW is doing is they're doing paper labels on their candles, whereas the candles that I bought that say like spooky and haunted house and ghost stories and stuff like that, that's like on the actual candle jar itself so like you can't peel the label off the paper ones like I don't really feel like that's what people want but people do want these like soda looking ones I'm not a fan of those I don't like the color I think it's like too cutesy and there's a good example of one of the DW labels that is a peel off label now but the ones that I have that say spooky you cannot peel the label off the candle so that's kind of disappointing but I feel like everybody's cutting corners on stuff so what are you gonna do I'm not gonna buy the candle and that's pretty much what my TJ Maxx had as far as Halloween decor for this round that I've been there and I went to Dollar Tree super quick. So my Dollar Tree has one Halloween section out where it's usually two aisles of Halloween and it's just a regular Dollar Tree. It is not a Dollar Tree Plus, so I haven't seen any of the Dollar Tree Plus items. But what my Dollar Tree did have was the transfers that a lot of people have been talking about where if you just have like a plain jar or like pencil holder or anything plain that you want to like spook up you can buy these transfers and transfer the image on which I think is a really cool idea it looks like it works pretty well and it's pretty simple I bought two of the different page types so the two different images that they're selling for the transfers I bought two of those just to see how they work so I'll show that to you guys so we'll see what the deal is with those they had this halloween leather stuff that i don't know what you're supposed to do with it maybe like scrapbooking i don't know what else you would do with it because it's squares like this and that's i just i don't know if anybody knows what the halloween leather is for at dollar tree let me know because there's a, a pattern that i don't know if i got a great shot of but it's la spooky labels which would be cool to do something with I just don't know what what you would do with it and then they had the regular like wood Dollar Tree stuff that they have every year then they're making more stuff for their mini trees which is cool so now we have tree toppers and they have uh, more ornaments they have the I don't know what else to call it but that tube stuff that people use for dreadlocks when they are going to raves and stuff like that they have some of that stuff um they have bases they have a bunch of mini tree stuff and toppers did i say toppers they have two kinds of toppers they have a bat topper and a witch topper it'd be cool if they were bigger because i would like to use it for my regular Christmas tree but they're about this big I don't know if it's gonna come out in the video but a lot of the pictures that I saw of it they looked a lot bigger than they are in person but pretty much standard Dollar Tree Halloween stuff I feel like they're getting a lot better because they know that people are shopping at Dollar Tree more so they're putting more of a variety of Halloween decorations out not just like the plastic crap that they've had for years they're doing more crafty stuff which is good because I think a lot of the other stores well mainly Michael's is kind of steering away from that and just pushing all of their efforts into their more expensive lines and I say that with a grain of salt because a lot of the lines that are expensive for Michaels or a little subpar this year but I feel like Dollar Tree is trying to take over that crafting part of it anyways that's what my Dollar Tree had 
I just found out there's a Dollar Tree Plus in my area, so I'm gonna try and check that out for you guys so we can see what they got. It just turned into one, I guess, so I don't think they have like the whole plus aisle set up completely, but I don't know, I might give it like a day. It's in a different town, so I have to drive over there. But I do have access to one now, which is cool. So yeah, that's what my Dollar Tree had and that's all of the halloween decor hunting that i have for you guys so far but comment down below if you saw anything in any of the stores that you liked or that you have picked up or have you picked up anything since the last video let me know in the comments down below thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe to my channel follow me on other social media and at least will be posted in the description box down below hit that notification bell so you guys know when i upload thanks for watching guys bye